What's good? Good morning. We got some comments to read, some conversations to have, and some coffee to sip. Shouts out to all the morning coffee drinkers out there. Um, Yeah, I do this YouTube shit to connect with y'all and to meet people around the world virtually and maybe in real life, you know, at the Harry Mack shows. Shouts out to the homeboy Um, and wherever else I may run into y'all, you know. And I just wanted to start reading comments and just having conversations with y'all because that I used to do that in the intro of every meet, uh, every video to reactions. But uh, I just wanted to do that for the full video because fuck it. We got my YouTube comments here. Every single comment. I don't know what really is going to pop up here. I've read. I usually check out my comments. So um, I've probably read some of them. But let's get it. Classic Freestyle Juice World Funk Flex. Damn Videos that I uploaded like years ago get get play. That's crazy. Shouts out Brandon McElwin. Um, first of all, shouts out Brandon McElwin because you've come through to my freestyle streams too. And I'm going to call out anyone who I know by name, at least by YouTube channel name, uh, because I appreciate y'all coming to the live streams. At 720, there's a dope ass flow. Shouts out Juice World, Goated, RIP, Gunalytics, Eugene. This is my favorite shit right here. He goes into all my freestyles. Not all of them, but a lot of them. See, he's done 10 already. And counts how many times I say gonna and gives me analytics for it. The gonna counter, 24. And that video is like four minutes long. So I'm improving. See, look, when you find the perfect type beat. Um, let's call that right now freestyle. Uh, I just try to give it a YouTube title because, you know, we're, we're trying to figure shit out here. Uh, um, but... GPM, gunners per minute, 5.95. That is a huge improvement. 12% improvement, 11.9%. 12% improvement from uh, the past best video, which was the Winter Freeze Freestyle. I got to go ch check these freestyles back, man. Till I don't. Damn, 12.7 gunners per minute? Gunna is my, one of my filler. It's like, I guess it's a filler word. But it's a very easy way to connect ideas and uh, connect verbs that you're going to gonna do, right? Uh, so I'm gonna do this versus I do this and that this way is a better way to go about freestyling, right? Because then you have more variety of words. I do gonna is the verb that extends the phrase but you can add another verb, right? So you can kind of think about what verb you're going to use. I'm going to fly or I fly to the sky. I fly to the sky is more descriptive. And then you can add on more adjectives and descriptors uh, if you just take out gonna and use the verb you're going to anyway. However, it gives me time to think. Uh, but it's better to just, it's probably better to just pause. And that's something. I don't necessarily work on removing gunners, but I do work on uh, getting my cadences and rhyme schemes a bit more dense and using more descriptors, which in turn takes out the gunners, right? So it's not like a direct, I need to stop saying gunna. It's more of a, I need to, or I would like to use more descriptive words and metaphors and, and you know, um, literary techniques in the freestyle, which then the first thing that gets removed from that a lot of the time is the gonna or is, um, what else do I say? I used to say what we be doing a lot. Now I say things like, uh, who's he, the dude who spews freeze, right? Like the, who's he, um, is a, is a filler of mine. I go into questions. I like questions as fillers as well. Cause not only is it easy to just kind of go to a question word, but, it's also very easily connected to some sort of answer. So you can have a full filler couplet by just asking like, who's he, the dude who spews freeze. He does it fluidly, right? Does it, whatever. Yeah. So anyway, I'm getting into my whole uh, filler bag. Uh, another thought that comes into mind is filler phrases are not just for freestyle. Fillers, you can use filler in your fucking life, bro. If you're scrolling on TikTok for an hour, that's a filler phrase for your, for your life. It's, a, it's real. Freestyle is life. Um, and we freestyle through life, as y'all know, and you just got to remove fillers from every aspect. You know, if you're working and you just get caught up 
in like a YouTube video or again, go on, on your phone or even some sort of sidetrack within work that isn't really productive to what you're doing. That's filler. That's filler. That's just uh, easy. It just spends time until you need to get to what you need to be doing. Uh, let, let's remove fillers, man. Let's remove fillers. Most gunners within a five second interval. He is studying Eugene. Shouts out to you, man. Three gunners within a five second interval. That's a lot. That's a lot. Um, 16 seconds longest gunna free stretch. That's crazy, man. I need all these in an Excel sheet. Um, and I need to see graphs. And I need to just post more uh, full length freestyles and not just shorts. Uh, so I can get more <laughs> gun analytics. Uh, I have some more in the last Twitch stream, which I fuck with freestyling on Twitch. Less thumbnail pressure, honestly. Uh, but y'all know what we do. Lammy CND Stanky on the on the right now freestyle. Appreciate you, man. Another uh, another fan or odd supporter. What fan? No supporter. We're all we're all in this together. Um who checked out my live streams very regularly. Shouts out to you, man. Uh, haven't seen you in a minute, though. Maybe we're just missing each other. Uh, Fabio Jesus, 2780. Straight fire. Keep up the grind. You know it, homie. Steven WYCO, or Wyco, 4277. I've been a harsh critic in the past. I have to admit, I see major improvements since lifetime. last time I checked in. Good stuff, bro. Keep it up. Appreciate that, man. Uh, harsh critic. Interesting, interesting. I don't necessarily remember what critics you may have had. Maybe it wasn't publicly commented, um, and that's cool. Appreciate you either way uh, coming through, checking it out, and seeing improvements. Yeah, you know, I'm trying to get to the point where obviously you keep on improving, um, but I think with with freestyle, with music, with art, there's a there's a moment where you just kind of it's just enjoyable. Right. Uh, it's just enjoyable. And there's it, you're not really comparing it to past, present or future. And it's just enjoyable. However, I'm not fully there yet because like the right now freestyle, I, I enjoyed it. I listened to it. If I didn't enjoy it, I wouldn't have posted it. However, there are still little moments where I'm just like, ah, ah I wish I could do that a little differently. Uh, and then it's like, should I go in and, and really re-record and, and do a whole like track out of it or just on to the next one i'm an on to the next one type of guy um but yeah willis baseline is groovy shouts out willis also a uh, tuner in tuner in to the live streams uh what the fuck nymp as well shouts out to you homie uh fecal eruptions first of all come on <laughs> what's that name Nah, i'm joking homie uh except i'm not really but uh <laughs> i know you're a you're a long time supporter man is this off top or parts of it it was all off top. It was all on my Twitch stream. Um, we were just kind of searching for beats, or I was searching for beats, and just freestyling. Uh, and yeah, I was feeling it that day, man. Hopefully, uh, we we feel it again to that degree. That's always the goal. The pen is strong. Low key return of low key UK rap reaction, man. I remember when I used to do hello UK rap reactions, and if you don't, I used to. Um, low key and immortal technique voices of the voiceless. Yeah, man, Loki always talks about crazy stuff. Um, and by crazy stuff, I mean just the real shit that happens around the world that people don't like to talk about. And appreciate you watching. Man, these videos, again, Loki, John Smith uh, comments, you break his words down really well. Just subscribe, Loki, top three from England. Akala, Loki, Mike Righteous. Yeah, man, those are all, when I was in it like that, they were the ones getting me thinking. And maybe I should start thinking again, man, because... Uh, listening to those artists really uh, opened up the mind, I, if I remember. Um, and man, those thumbnails, <sighs> we've improved upon those. But shout out to the early, early iconic uh, reaction watchers, man. That, that that was a fun time. That was a fun time. Uh, iconic and Sir Jazz, I'm asking, man. I'm really happy with that one. Um, just, I felt it, the verses I liked. You know, I might want to go in and, and really soup up that track one day um that was just kind of the, the the one take just export and upload type vibes uh but the beat crazy shouts out sir jazz but training every day until i die says i love when freestyle just keeps being better than 99 percent of rap man first of all appreciate that uh because i don't know if i'm better than 99 percent of rap 
Uh, but I do appreciate that sentiment overall in terms of just freestyling. I I like listening to freestyles, man. And yeah, I like listening to produced music as well. Um, but I think produced music for me is more of a passive experience. And freestyles are more of an active experience of just consuming the content, right? When I when I watch freestyles, I'm like watching, listening. Um, when I'm listening to music, like on Spotify, produce stuff, it's more, it's more in the back. It's either while I'm working out, um, it's either while I'm just having it on in the background while I'm while I'm, you know, working or or whatever or driving, you know. But. Maybe I need to get back to just listening to an album, sit down and just focusing on it. That's a, that's a whole nother thing. But um, it is it is a different experience. And I would say both are really enjoyable. Freestyle is just more of a mental exercise. And I love to see the mental working. Uh, and that's why I like written music has such a high, high standard for me to really sit down and enjoy, I feel like. But freestyles, I can appreciate the mental gymnastics of it. A little bit just like you watch a basketball game or a soccer game and not every game or not every minute of the game or quarter of the game half of the game is going to be the best or entertaining but you're still watching seeing what, what might happen and freestyle is similar to me because not the whole thing is going to be good a lot of the time you know not everyone is fucking harry mack right um or juice world for that matter uh and you're just waiting for those moments and the wait for that moment in it in and of itself is entertaining and fun. So, yeah, shout out shout out to you man training every day. Uh that's a that's a super dope compliment and we're just going to keep on going man. I'm going to stream today too. I'm going to stream today Twitch or YouTube, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but just just keep an eye out. Uh never bereft. It's a short that I posted. The smile and pure enjoyment of showcasing what you love can feel that energy my dude shout out skyrocket first of all there's so many different names here i feel like every comment has been from a different person which is super super dope um man i i that's what i'm trying to get back to actually just the the enjoyment the energy the interestedness of it within myself i feel like i've kind of laid back on just the 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 meaning of things to me a little bit as in, like, ah, nothing really matters that much, you know, like, just, it is what it is, like, and that's not a, that's not the best way to go about, I feel like that's not the way I felt when I was having the best times of my life, um, and I think everyone goes through phases, right, so losing that, that energy and passion for just the, just, just a quick little freestyle, or even this video, this video, I mean, I'm pumped up right now reading these comments, talking to y'all, I'm excited to post it, and to read the comments under this, to to do the next one of these uh, comment conversations, probably what I'm going to call it, um, unless there's a better name out there. Uh, comment conversations with Iconic sipping coffee. Who knows? You know. <laughs> uh, all, right, all right. Let's do a few more. Um, it's been, damn, 13 minutes already. Uh, let's get it. Harry Mack goes absolutely crazy on Minotaur. That was my Minotaur review. Most Def and Talib Kweli's RE definition contains a very symbol, similar part with synonyms, simpleton, and cinnamon. Shout out, uh, food dope. Interesting. I, I got to go check that out. Um, at the end of the day, I feel like these rhyme schemes, multi-syllabic multi rhyme schemes, there are more common words to use in the English language. Uh, so like a three syllable rhyme scheme or four syllable rhyme scheme, a lot of the time will repeat amongst the catalog of rap, of poetry, of music, right? Uh, shouts out to that viral, um, Taylor Swift lyric, but delivered in MF doom style and voice, uh, clip that's going around TikTok. Uh, there's a full bottle or there's a bottle full throttle rhyme scheme. Um, in there and y'all know that's a Harry Mack scheme as well that he uses uh but they get there in different ways and not that MF Doom used that scheme because it's Taylor Swift lyrics but uh you get my point uh synonym cinnamon simpleton and sometimes you're a huge fan of of 
rap and hip hop and you're listening to it when you're younger and you haven't really listened to it in a while and then you get back into writing or you continue writing and five, ten years down the line, you come up with a dope rhyme scheme and you don't necessarily even remember that it was from a track back in the day. That happens. And I feel like that's not that crazy for it to happen because if you're writing and rapping, you're going to come into a lot of different combinations of words. Um, but that's dope. I got to go check out that song and see how uh, most Def and Talib used it. Or I'm sure only one of them used it in their verses. But um, yeah, let's go hit King Lowe's freestyle with the L.A. Leakers. No one should understand. No one would understand what you can do when your mind, body and soul is clean. He is vegan. He fasts. He meditates. He studies. Not just say little slick regular rap lines. He speaks from an esoteric God level. You have to study physics, read the dictionary, and open your third eye. You don't have to write things down when the ether of the cosmos are in connection with you. Damn. Yasur... Hold up. Yasur son, the American Indian. Shouts out to you, homie. Uh, that's a super thoughtful comment. I was back in the day really worried about... Or not worried about, but spent a lot of mental energy on off top versus written on these freestyles and when it's king lows it's even more like off top versus written and i feel like that this does a disservice to any written freestyle first of all because you're like oh it's not off top so it you know it needs to be on that higher level second of all it um it changed it it takes away from the discussion of the dopeness of what is actually being said or, or rapped Right, and that's one of those videos. That's the Sway LA Leakers King Los freestyle, which is epic. And taking away from it with the question of off top versus not, instead of just digging into all everything he's saying only and really focusing on that, is something that I w would do differently moving forward and do differently moving forward. Um, because I also did that on the Black Thought Funk Flex freestyle. And it's just not the point. It's it's really not the point. Uh, and if it is off top, clearly shown off top with, you know, the Harry Mack type, give me random words or, or like Super Nat with the items and, and stuff like that. Then it's inherently part of the, the freestyle or the rap. Um, but if it's just going, like, I feel like there's no need to, to determine if it's off top or not. Because at that point, if you're just going off, if you're just flowing and freestyling and trying to say something, if it's off top, you better be saying something, right? Like the fun of off top and freestyle is in some of the um, the moments where it's clear that it's freestyle, whether it's like a mess up stutter that you make into a dope line or a, um, like I said, the the random words or just calling out things in the room. That is the fun of the freestyle. But if you're going into a bag of giving a meaningful message, it doesn't matter if it's off top. It matters what you're saying. And that's that's a, a distinction that I would have made back then. Um, but now but now I would just focus on what's being said. So shout out Yashur the Sun or Sun the American Indian. That's something that was on my mind a lot back then and is still on my mind uh, now. And you're pointing it out, man. You know, it, off top or not, doesn't matter. He's just speaking from an esoteric God level. Uh, shout out King Lowe's. Uh, and then let's do a couple more here. Harry Max Trick is Gorilla Bars Challenges. Iconic behind the scenes. That's the Gorilla Bars Venice um, episode, which was super fun. Uh, just doing Gorilla Bars out in Europe. Come on. What, what type of life are we leading right here? Uh, Pleb Crab Slayer. Always up to watch these legit BTS perspectives. But must I say, I miss the Leonidas Haddock beer. <laughs> but I got to go that shit out. I got a nice one going. Got to get rid of the the, the neck beard, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. That's that's definitely a vibe I'll, I'll get back to at some point. Ben Holio, shout out to you, homie. Also a uh, live stream frequenter. Let's go. Agreed. Um, Skyrocket, again. Damn, Skyrocket. Shout out to you. Commenting all over. The context behind these is so rad. Didn't know you did them. Def gonna spend time on this channel. Good shit. Appreciate you, Khan. Appreciate you, man. Jesse Jesse 9499 skips through the start of the video. Starts mid freestyle. Four minutes in. He's talked for 15 minutes. Dislike the video and I won't be back to this channel. Damn. Peace out, bro. I mean, uh, the actual video exists on Harry's channel. 
and I'm actually there giving you a little different um, perspective on the, the, the video. I'm literally recording. Uh, that's actually something. Stay tuned. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if, if that's not what you like, that's if that's you're, if you're not here to hear me talk, then you shouldn't be here because I'm talking, baby. Uh, Chris Tanner, always love your behind the scenes. It's exactly the content and info we want. Been a fan of HMAC since GB1. Happy to see all the progress lately. Shouts out Chris Tanner, another uh, longtime supporter. Raynan Ledesma, uh, Julian Waters, Jeff Roach, all longtime supporters. And I think we're done here, guys. It's been almost, it has been 20 minutes. God damn. Well, I'm going to post this. Fuck it, because I had a lot of fun talking to y'all. Appreciate y'all um, coming through. And um, has this not been scrolling? Oh, it has been scrolling. Dope. Cool. Anyway, uh, until next time, leave comments under this one, because I'm going to read them. Peace.